Oh, we're gonna pray na, ano? Oh, Tita Pepod, kayo na po mag-anak, mag-pray. Oh, so yeah, okay. Let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, we pray and thank you, days, Lord, for this day. Uh, tinataas po namin ang aming Bible study. We pray for each and every one of us, O oh Lord, na magkaroon po kami ng wisdom para makapag-participate sa aming lesson sa Chapter 8 of Genesis. We lift up to you also, O oh Lord, other members who are not yet in right now, O oh Lord, na Marimay sila na it's high time na mag-prepare yung study na kami, Lord. Teach in every one of us or the wisdom para maintindihan po namin ang pag-aaralan namin. Thank you, Lord, for our facilitator, Pastor Jer, Pastor Christina, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 So, ngayong gabi, uh, anong chapter na ba tayo? Eight? Chapter 8. Or 8, oh. Genesis. Ayan, hindi ako magpa-facilitate. So, si ah, Sister Kled ang magpa-facilitate. Ha? Si Sister so, Kled ba? Uh, bigay na natin ang... Uh... Let's give the dance floor. <laughs> okay, si Sister Kled, sige, game na kami. Good evening po. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay, go for it. So before tayo magbasa ng text natin for tonight, uh, I have two questions na tatanong para lang to get our brains moving. Um, please answer. <laughs> uh, the first question, have you ever been uh, has there ever been a time where you felt stuck in a boat? Where you are stuck in a boat uh, and there is a huge storm around you and you can't leave the boat. You have to stay in the boat. And that's like, you know, parang, meron bang, have you ever been in a situation na wala bang magawa? Na stuck ka lang? Anybody? Want to <laughs> yes, we have. Hi, Tita LV. <laughs> Hello, po, Tita LV. Ay, naka- Sorry, po, I'm late. Good evening. <laughs> I love you. Yes, anybody stuck in uh, in a situation where they've where they can't leave? <laughs> yes, most of the time. Mm. Example, nasa America pa, yung relative mo nasa Pilipinas, mm. if something happened to them, you cannot help them. Mm-hmm. Pag nagkasakit, mm-hmm. pag nagka-problema sa bahay, you cannot do anything. You just have to wait for the good news and the bad news. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's... So all you have to do is pray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's the most um, relatable uh, struggle na nagandaman lahat ng nagtao, nag-immigrate sa America. It's, you know, marami nangyari sa family mo sa Philippines. Like, for example, yung bagyo na you know, nasira yung mga mga bahay ng family members or nawalan sila ng lugar. Tapos hindi dito ka, wala ka naman magagawa kasi hindi ka man, anong gaga- magagawa mo? You know? And and that's that's a very real and that's very hard. Um, and in that situation, kind of for tonight, what we're talking about is Noah's family and a bunch of animals stuck in a boat for for one year. Can you imagine being stuck in a boat, being so helpless and and not knowing when the rain and the flood is going to end? Um, that, that for me, ako, that's that's very stressful. Na parang you're walking around. And you're staying in one place na parang it's become your exile. Pero in fact, the place that 
has become their exile is a place where they were saved, where they were taken care of. Even though in the moment it didn't feel like na ano na na ano na necessarily it's good. It was hard. Um, so you know, we're all agreeing na meron na tayong all experiences na nagstang stuck tayo sa boat. Tapos we felt helpless. And in those moments where you've been stuck in the boat, have you ever felt that God left? Have you ever, in the waiting, did you try? Stay more Thailand. Have you ever felt that God ever left you while you were stuck in the boat? I have a lot of experience. We conducted a training. So we came on a boat from Manila to Cebu. So so mo ulan yon. So same experience. Di naman ulan ang bagyo. Mungulan lang. Pero yung dalawang araw kasag dagat. Si mabagal yung takbo ng barko eh. Super ferry. Takay na, sabi nga ni Sarah. <laughs> Pero nakakabato, nakakabato sa loob ng barko kasi uh, maubos yung pera mo kakabili ng kung ano-ano kasi mamahal ng mga mga bilihin din eh. Tapos may lumabas, lumabas, lumabas ako ng gabi, nakipagkwentuhan ako sa isang pasayero. Tapos sabi nung tripulante o yung parang ano parang crew sabi niya nung last trip daw nila kasi tinuturo niya ayan po yung ano yung Batangas yung tinuturo niya yung bawat island so nung last trip daw nila meron daw tumalon wow that person tried to swim papunta nung ano island no so ay hindi try to swim to swim away from the island so automatic pala yun uh, inaano pinapatay nila yung makina and they will try to save the person. Pero ayaw magpa-save ng tao kasi lumalayo siya sa barko. No? Hindi siya papuntang island. Papunta siyang gitna ng dagat. No? And uh, abo, kung totoo, sabi nila, iniwan na lang nila. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung totoo yun. Ano? Pero nakakalungkot kasi uh, siguro yung tao may depression, tumalon or whatever. Pero... <laughs> Pag hindi ka sanay sumakay ng barko, hindi ka taga doon. So, pag kasanay ka na, okay lang. Pero pag hindi ka taga doon, first time mo, nakakalungkot. Nakaka... Basta may sisik talagang tinatawag na masusuka ka, tapos malungkot, maalon, tapos lalo na pag gabi, ang lamig-lamig. And na-experience na, 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 na ko talaga kung ano yung na-experience sila no wa. Pero yung sinakyan ko, super ferry pa yun. Pwede kang umorder sa sa kwarto mo ng pagkain. <laughs> Kaila no, eh, hindi. Kuha ka ng itlog doon sa may ano, sa may itlog ng manok, di ba? So, mm-hmm. pero yung lungkot na, na nakita ko siya eh. Na, napipicture ko siya kung gaano mm-hmm. kalungkot. Yeah. yeah. Isipin mo for for the entire year. Pero actually, maybe na ma, mas ma tag dito, ma identify na na yung feeling na kasi They were on quarantine, on sea, and the entire year we've been on quarantine. And the only people we saw, I mean, I mean, we're coming out of it. But at that time when we were in full quarantine, the only people we saw were our family members. So we see pinoy yung parang like in frustration. Siguro na laram daman ni Noah yung mga anak niya, yung mga asawa ng anak niya. Like they're all frustrated. Na there's no other space to go to. And it makes me wonder. I wonder if, if they tried taking matters in their own hands, if they, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Have you guys ever thought about that? Kung nung tingin yun na na yung what was going through their head while they were in the boat? Actually, mas maraming nagcommit ng suicide nung nung COVID times eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just like. Yeah, they were stuck yeah. somewhere. So most of them affected that. Most of them are educated. Mm-hmm. They were students. Mm-hmm. They were college. They were entrepreneurs. But most of them are aware of what is happening in the world, and yet they are not able to do it. And mas worse yung sa time nila na wala, kasi lahat umiiyak eh. So misigaw. No, wala mm-hmm. sa klolo help. Nalulunod lahat eh. Bata, matanda, hayop. Mm-hmm. 
So that's depressing. <laughs> Di ba? Kasi yung ayun, nakikita mo sila, yeah. Opo, napapanood lang natin sa news na namamatay, ganito yung numbers. Di ba? Because of COVID. Nakita natin, sinusunog yung mga bangkay sa India. Depressing na yun. Pero how much more, pag dungaw mo ng barko mo, may kita mo yung mga tao nagmamahawa sa iyo. Open the door, please. Papasok na kami. Di ba? And you can't. Kasi God closed the door. It was it was not Noah. Naalala nyo, sinabi doon sa last part, God closed the door. So pag sinarado ng Diyos, di mo bubuksan. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that is kind of the the framework or the kind of like siguro yung yung parang ito yung mga mga things na hindi nasulat sa Bible. Kung ano naramdaman nila exactly, kung ano naramdaman ng mga anak, yung asawa and all these things and I mean, these are the times where where we are given the opportunity mm-hmm. to imagine. Kasi at the end of the day, the Bible is something na is is very identifiable for us as humans. Kasi these are stories of people who have failed. And these are stories of people who are trying to be obedient. And these are stories of people who are trying to love God. And I think... Uh, I can safely say sa, sa Zoom na to, it's that we are all trying to do something similar. So I just wanted to give us like kind of like that framework and to think about it na in a way not to humanize the story. Na it's not just something na parang, oh, binasa lang natin. Oh, tapos biglang we'll come to a conclusion that's so beautiful. Because it's not. It's, it's, it's beautiful, pero it's hard na sometimes sa journey natin as Christians, there's, it's not always rainbows and sunshine, di ba? There's a lot of flood. There's a lot of flood moments na stuck tayo sa boat. Oftentimes, we put ourselves in those boats. And then oftentimes, God ushers us into a boat so that we can find safety, even though it doesn't feel safe, even though it feels so confusing while you're, you're in the boat. So, yes, all right. Um, let's read Genesis 8. Yeah. Pastor Jeff. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to read, um, the first chunk of the passage first, and then we'll discuss it. Uh, if, uh, Pastor Jeff, if you start and read, um, how many verses were there again? 22. 22. No, till the, no. Um, till the, 22 verses. Yeah. God's promise. Um, so I'm going 19. Uh, if we can all read. Uh, we all read three verses each. We'll get through the first chunk until uh, until verse 19. Pastor Jeff, can you please start us off? On so verse- three verses. Okay. The flood recedes. Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. God remembered Noah as well as all the wildlife and all the livestock that were with him in the ark. God caused a wind to pass over the earth and the water began to subside. Verse 2. The sources of the watery depths and the floodgates of the sky were closed and the rain from the sky stopped. Verse 3. The water steadily receded from the earth and by the end of 150 days, the water had decreased significantly. Mm. Sister Elvi, can you please continue? Uh, verse, verse 4, The ark came to rest in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat. Verse 5, The water continued to recede until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were visible. 
verse 6, after 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made. Continue na po from uh, until verse... And verse 7, And he sent out a raven. It went back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth. Verse 8, Then he sent out a dove to see whether the water on the earth's surface had gone down. Verse 9, But the dove found no resting place for its foot. It returned to him in the ark because water covered the surface of the whole earth he reached out and brought it into the ark to himself. Hmm. Sister Amy, please continue. Po. So Verse Noah eight. waited seven more days uh, and sent out the, do the dove from the ark again. When the dove came to him at evening, there was a plucked olive leaf in its beak. So no one knew that the water on the earth's surface had gone down. After he had waited another seven days, he sent out the dove, but it did not return to him again. Mm. Sister Lennon, I continue. In the 601st year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water that had covered the earth was dried up. Then Noah removed the ark's cover and saw that the surface of the ground was drying. By the 27th day of the second month, the earth was dry. All right. So reading the first initial um, 19 verses, I mean, it talks about it in the, in the title of this section, is that this is when <clears throat> blood starts receding. And I mean, we talked about kung ano yung mentality nila Noah and the family na they're probably depressed, they're probably tired, they're probably anxious and frustrated with God. I say before the flood even happened, they didn't, you know, they didn't know kung how long they were going to be there, you know, mm -hmm. and they were just waiting. Um, and they'd never, they, they, there was no, there was no message. There was no clear message from God na, oh, sige sa, no, sa, sa October 24, mm -hmm. na yung blood. It, it wasn't like that. And it was a lot of faithfulness and obedience and patience from Noah. Um, mm -hmm. So reading it initially, what were some things that stood out to you? Ano yung parang, oh, ano parang reading this again, I didn't realize this kind of na, na napansin nyo. Ako, ito yung God caused a wind to pass over the earth mm -hmm. and the water began to subside. <clears throat> Unang-una, kumbaga, perfectly, you know, the Lord is in uh, perfect control. Kumbaga, tansyado niya lahat, kontrolado niya. Siya yung, nag, siya yung dumidiskarte, kumbaga. Hindi niya, hindi niya dito alatang halata hindi niya pinabayaan si Noah. Pag uh, alam niya kung kailan niya papababain, kung kailan niya patataasin. Tapos yung sumunod na verse, yung sa verse 2, the sources of the watery depths and the flood gates of the sky were closed. So dito, ina kumbaga ina-affirm yung una natin binasa na ang source of water hindi lang galing sa sky, hindi lang galing sa ulan. Hindi katulad nung tinuro sa atin ng mga bata tayo na dahil sa ulan, eh, lumubog. Pero ang nagpalubog, hindi lang ulan, pati yung mga watery depths. No? Alimbawa, kung saan pwede magkaroon ng source ng tubig. Mm -hmm. Pwede sa ilalim ng lupa, o saan pa man. Baga lahat yun, sinarado ng Panginoon. No? At syempre, sa lahat, tumigil yung ulan. Diba? Yun, medyo napansin ko lang na yung sumulat nito, consistent siya doon sa sinusulat niya. Kasi nga, this, 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 uh, this was written by Moses na uh, uh, kumbaga under ng uh, guidance ng Holy Spirit. At ang Holy Spirit, alam naman natin, ay Diyos. No? Kaya uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So dito, pinakita nyo lang na kumbaga nag-flex siya ng muscle dito. Eh, na ako yung Diyos. Ako talaga yung nag-cost ng baha Ako rin ang cause kung batihin ito ang baha. Parang gano'n. Mm -hmm. So, sa akin, reminder lang na whatever people are going through, pwedeng pahintuin ng Diyos anytime. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. yes. So, alamawa, pandemic or uh, uh, 
marriage problem or halimbawa um, a sickness or or a relationship problem, a financial problem, whatever problem. If the Lord uh, wants to stop it, it will stop. As simple as that. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yes. Kaya abot langit ang dasal siguro nila no. <laughs> yeah. And I think just to jump off of that, I think it's also important to, to remember now, you know, Noah probably thought that he had his own timeline, but mm-hmm. God had God's own timeline in that, you know, God's timeline doesn't always make sense to us. But oh, it's the perfect timeline because it makes sense now it's it's the right timing you know what pastor jeff said like there is a perfectness in the ways that god move and sometimes when we try to step into things na hindi pa tamang oras we get hurt so if you imagine like if 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 noah decided na oh sige labas na lang tayo ng boat dito like sa before the 150th day then they would have drowned. Mm. But the fact that they, they stayed in the boat and they stayed faithful and they stayed obedient was um, signifying na, that there is a perfect timing to it. Yeah, kung nagpanik si Noah, mm-hmm. mamatay silang lahat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ang isang classic example ng panic, dati kasi akong training consultant ng Star City. Familiar kayo sa Star City? Di ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Up. Tuwing Pasko, di ba? Pasko, mm-hmm. yes. Pero palang, nagkakandak na ako ng training dyan sa lahat. Sa ex- mula executive, hanggang sa mga opisina, hanggang sa pati yung mga nagbabantay sa mga booth, mga lahat ng empleyado nila. So, pagkatapos namin ng training, uh, nagkaroon ng, nagbuka sila, soft offening, tapos may, may sumakay na bata doon sa parang yung Sasakay ka, ta- log jump, tapos babagsak yun. Mm-hmm. Sa tubig? Tapos, yeah, sa tubig babagsak. Tapos mag-splash mm-hmm. yung tubig. Parang yes, yeah. Pagdating sa dulo, natakot yung bata. Tumalo. Mm-hmm. Natakot mm-hmm. siya na babagsak siyang ganun. Kasi, kasi yun nga yung parang trail nun eh. Babagsak mm-hmm. ka. Pero huwag kang tatalon. E eh, tumalon siya. Patay yung bata. 12 years old. Oh no. Patay. Ah, nandun lahat yun, yung ABS-CBN, Channel 7. Oh, God. Ang, uh, it was something na ano, horrifying. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Bakit? Kasi nagpanik yung bata. Safe naman yun kung hindi ka tatalon. Obviously, pag tumalon ka, mawamatay ka talaga. Kasi mataas yun eh. Tapos babagsak ka, parang gano'n. So, uh, horrifying yung nangyari. Pero mas horrifying kung lumabas si Nanoa. Diba? Kasi wala na tayo. <laughs> Kung nag-decide siya. Wala nang natira. Wala nang natira. Wala nang. Hindi naabot sa atin yung lahi. Kasi kung nag-decide si Noah na ayaw niya na lumabas siya, sigurado patay silang mag-anak doon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sister Elvi, do you have any um, thoughts? Oh, so I think so. Ano, I, I will jump to verse 4 na. Mm-hmm. Are we done with the 1 and 2 and 3, right? Apo. Mm-hmm. So, yung ano, sa yung four, nakita ko sabi niya, the ark came to rest. Siguro, naki, ang, I, I can just imagine, ano, nung nasa tubig pa sila, di ba? The, the ark may be shaking, di ba? Parang iba-iba yung kahit pag nasa boat ka, di ba? Sa barko or anything, di ba? Misan magalaw. Mm-hmm. So, kahit naman sa atin bilang kristyano, minsan merong mga ups and downs sa buhay natin, ano? Mm-hmm. But the Lord will give us rest. Sabi niya parang it will come to pass that this will end. Parang ganon. Mm-hmm. Yung restlessness mo ed, uh, uh, parang mawawala din. If the Lord, uh, if if you will really have, ano, we will trust the Lord. Well, sila nagtiwala lang sa Panginoon eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Si, uh, they have, sabi nga eh, meron silang yung faith nila and then they trusted God. Yeah. So whatever is gonna happen, sa, nandun kami. So I will know that they, they'll know that it will come to pass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba? It will come to pass. This mm-hmm. will come to pass. So, so, so ganun din sa atin sa bilang mga Kristiyano. So we we come into sit in a situation that sometimes we don't really understand what's going on uh, around us. Sometimes we just uh we are we are just parang nagaan na, nagaano tayo parang nagwo wonder bakit nangyayari sa atin ito. 
mm. and we have Jesus in our hearts. But we just don't know those are just uh, 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 mountains to climb. Katulad ng sa kanila, it's the water. No? Yung, mga, yung mga mountains and mga, mga circumstances, they are just a, a stepping a, a stones or they are just, uh, ano ba yun, parang hakbang na lalo ka pang tumibay. Sa, sa, pan, sa, sa faith mo sa Panginoon. So, uh, just like Noah, Noah yung, yung faith nila sa Panginoon, they trusted God that God will be with them until the, until the time that the ark will be rested o kaya mawawala na yung ulan, the tubig will be receded, yung parang yung tubig bababa na. Mm-hmm. So, ganun din sa atin bilang mga Kristiyano. Parang nakita ko dito yung rest. So, magre-rest tayo. So, the Lord will just give us joy. Yun. Sabi nga, weeping may come for a night, night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Diba? Amen. Amen. So, yun ang may, na, nakita ko doon. It was really... Uh, so, yung parang, Pita LV, yung no mask policy, eh, yun na ba yung rest natin? <laughs> uh, it, kasi kanina, I was out. Ano? I was mm. out. Pero... I was out sa kanina na naglakad ako along dito sa may Beverly Hills because mm-hmm. I was in the bank. Uh, naglakad ako, nagpark lang ako ng sasakyan somewhere. Tapos, nakita ko almost everybody, ano, wala ng mask. Yeah. Nagpunta sila sa may Beverly sign. Mm-hmm. Nagpunta sila doon. Siguro, nagkaroon ng rest for a while. <laughs> parang yeah. konting, konting rest lang. Parang konting freedom. Yeah. Pero, You, you also have to ano to protect yourself kasi di ba not everybody is vaccinated or what parang ganon. so hindi tayo magkakampante rin katulad bilang Kristiyano we should not be ano yung parang complacent yung hindi tayo magkakampante yeah. so we have to work it out yeah. just like what's gonna ha- what's going on today uh-huh. so so we should we should ano parang Uh, ano ba tayo, aware so sa lahat ng mangyayari. Kasi hindi natin alam, nagalis ng mask, so others are still having their mask while they walk or somewhere. But pagdating sa loob ng mga, like just like uh, one, one lady who was in the bank, because I was in the bank this morning, so merong isang girl doon, kami lahat nakamask, pati yung mga teller, but there is one, one lady, wala, wala siyang mask. So, hmm. siyempre, di ba, medyo ano yon uh, Pero paglabas mo, halos wala lahat. So, yeah. <laughs> diba? It's kind of little help. You have to, ano pa rin, uh, protect yourself. On. Ganun din ang katulad natin bilang mga Kristiyano. We have to protect ourselves also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not, to, not to be in, not, not to, ano ba, not to, ano ba yun, parang, mapa, ano ka sa kasalanan. So, we have to, watch ourselves also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the Lord, the Lord does, you know, usher us to say to guard our hearts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guard our hearts because mm-hmm. it's, it's so easy to be tempted. Yeah. You know, I'm, I've had many conversations this month about like just that the, the temptations of just singing with the choir, you know, mm-hmm. Of like going with kung ano man sinasabi ng mundo. Yes. Pero, pero Jesus does say like, if you follow me, many people mm-hmm. will hate you. Many, many people will shun you. Because mm-hmm. what you're following is, is not of this world. It's beyond this world. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's very true na. And it's, it's, and it's very poignant na you, you picked up the ark came to rest. It's such a, it's such a small Yeah, this is more, yeah. But it, it's so true. That <laughs> the way you explained it, na, you know, it was shaky, and then there are moments na, siguro, like, diba sa, Masuso ka ka, yung parang ganun. Uh, you yeah. feel, like, dizzy, yeah. Uncomfortable, you know, those things. And yet it came to rest, I think. It came to rest, yeah. I think that's important to remember na, as Christians, as we go on through our lives, mm-hmm. there are that we, we really do feel tired yes and there will be moments of rest but sometimes when we seek for rest but when we seek for rest but by ourselves it's not true. yes that makes mm-hmm. sense uh, parang, parang fake na rest parang mm-hmm. lang. Uh, it's not real but when we seek god in that rest when we when we seek god first and we say like okay lord you, you instead of seeking all of these things instead of 
focusing on all these things that are hard and that are confusing, how about we seek you first instead of right. putting you last, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. And putting you first. And maybe in that rest, it will overflow you the way we respond better and the way we, we stay faithful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, yes, Ms. points on me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, Sister Amy, do you have anything that stood out to you, Bo? <laughs> no, Bo. Sorry. Sa office ko namin, sa 28, patatanggalin ng ano, ang mask eh. Sa building. Sa mga building sa downtown. June 28 pa. Dito, nag-start na eh. Sa, sa Beverly? Oo. Oo. All of them, you ano, makikita mo sila. Yeah, makikita mo sila. Talagang, ano, unmasked na sila. Wala na. Masaway na? Mm -hmm. Pero kasi downtown kailangan pa rin eh. Ang 28. Uh, ang, ang tao na sala sa init, sala sa lamig. Noon dati, yes. sinasabi ng gobyerno, magmask kayo, ayaw magmask. Ngayon, sabi mm -hmm. ng gobyerno, tanggalin niyo yung mask, ayaw tanggalin. Ayaw naman tanggalin. Ayaw naman tanggalin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ma. Ngayon sa, sa mga stores, there's a new sign that says, you don't have to wear a mask, but you're encouraged to wear a mask. But parang ano, parang like masks are welcome, but then it parang weird na okay, pero parang bahala ka. <laughs> the choice. Your own choice. Yeah. It's your choice. Parang it's your choice then. <clears throat> parang ganun, parang choice mo na. Kasi noon hindi eh. <laughs> Sa isang ano ito. Pero siyempre, masarap talaga walang mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Amy. Meron kang sabihin? Um, ganun din talaga sa, kahit na sa buhay natin na meron mga rules and regulations na meron ng gobyerno, lahat. Pero alam natin, I mean, sa atin pa rin yun, kung an, alam natin kung anong tama at mali, di ba? So, mm -hmm. ang wisdom ay hinihingi pa rin natin sa Panginoon kung ano ang dapat gawin para tayo ay nasa tamang nasa tamang landas sa ating mga ginagawa. So kahit na sinasabihin nila na huwag ka na magmask, alam natin na may dangers pa rin dahil hindi pa yes. vaccinated. So, on guard pa rin tayo. Yes. Kaya nga, ang, ano yung uh, ano yung may breastplate of uh, righteousness? Yung, uh, righteousness. May shield, parang helmet of salvation plate, is shield, helmet, yeah. lahat yan uh -oh. it's all kailangan fake. isuot pa rin natin lahat yun sa 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 buhay natin ang una niya palang sinen out Raven ano? ito yung mga may Raven yeah dami nito sa LA Pansin. yung malalaki yung malalaki yan maitim. ano ba yung raven uwak may itim yung may uwak. itim po yung may itim uwak ano yung makikita niyo sa LA Martinez oo so Mar Martinez ba yun hindi ano so, okay. hindi sila Martinez iba ang malalaki Martinez. sila ang uwak, Martinez ang sasalita yun eh oo oh, sasalita oo oh, oh. ito may boros yun eh uh, yung ravens po po carnivorous so actually in the Jewish culture uh, you know, I mean, even before uh, the earlier chapters, God talks about clean and unclean animals. And uh, in Jewish culture, ravens are seen as unclean because they eat... They eat blood. Uh, yeah, they eat like dead... Mga carcass. Mga ano. Yeah. And... Nabubulok uh, yeah. na. Unclean. Yung mga, yung mga bulok. O yan, bulok-bulok. Yeah. What do you think po yung ano, is, is the significance? Bakit... David na unang pinalabas ni Noah. Do you think there's a significance to that? Okay lang daw mamatay yung Raven. Nakakainis daw kasi ang ingay niya. Eh. <laughs> ang ingay. Ay, Ay, yan ang pinauna niya eh. Pinauna niyang palabasin. <laughs> yan yung ano kasi yun. Kasi maingay eh. Ang, ang tunog talaga niya. Wak! 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 Oh, eh, wak ang tawag dyan maingay. eh. Maingay yan. Wak. Ma maingay siya. Saka nagkakalkal ng basura. Hindi siguro kaya pa kaya siya pinalabas kasi nga uh, kasi tahimik na yung ano tahimik lahat eh. So siya na yung mag-iisang mag-iingay pag nabas siya. <laughs> kasi kasi siya ang maingay. raven, unclean. Kumakain ng mga 
bangkay. Mm-hmm. Bangkay. So, mm-hmm. wala silang kakainin fruits dahil nga katatapos lang ng baha. So, mm-hmm. ang makikita niya, yung mga, mga bangkay, mga dead mm-hmm. bodies. So, mabubuhay siya doon. Yeah, pwede, <laughs> pwede, pwede. pwede. Mm-hmm. Eh ang problema bumalik eh, di ba? Bumalik. Ibig sabihin, Oo. wala pang wala pang land. Yeah, tsaka ang karakteristik nitong raven na to, kumpara sa dove, ang dove medyo domesticated 'to, di ba? Pag nagalaga ka ng dove, magpakain. Babalik at babalik. Babalik sa iyo. Etong raven Uh-oh. hindi, ano to? Do, ah, kumbaga wala. layas layas to, lagalag. Mm-hmm. So pag mm-hmm. kaya pinakawalan niya 'yan, pag ito bumalik, wala talaga madapuan 'to. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. And yeah, so anybody and meron po ba ano um something that stood out? Niyo? <clears throat> so ibig sabihin hindi to yung tipong bumaha tapos na wala yung baha. Hindi. Meron pang period na. Yeah. Suffering din yan in a sense, eh. naghihintay ka. <laughs> para humupa yung tubig. <laughs> Kailan kaya, di ba? Tapos uh, nag-wish ka na sana tong Raven wag nang bumalik, di ba? Eh bumalik. Oh, parang diba? sana wag nang bumalik yung dove, eh bumalik. Nakaya. So, medyo yeah. ano 'yun. Yeah. Pero nung bumalik yung dove, the ano to, second time or third yeah. time yung labas, may dalang olive leaf for more days. Yes. Yeah, which I know. I mean, it's been always symbolized. Ang olive leaf is a symbolism of peace and rest. Mm-hmm. Life, life. So I think <coughs> it's really, you know, parang wow. Like for it to bring back an olive leaf of branch, parang you know, sinis signify na ito na parang talagang there is life blooming out again. Ito mubo na. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. The, the, as ako, nung, when I first read this passage again, I read it over and over again. And then the biggest thing that really stood up sa akin is the first sentence. <laughs> is, um, and the first sentence says, God remembered Noah. Noah. As well as yes. all the wildlife and all the livestock that were with him in the ark. And it, it all, maybe most people might interpret na ay nakalimutan ba ni God si Noah <laughs> while well, nasa storm siya? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's more of God knew, God always knows, God was always with Noah and with all the livestock. But it was important for the author to write na God remembered Noah as to end as all as the wildlife and all the lost livestock. To say that, you know, God started the chaos and God will end the chaos. And, yeah. and to say na, you know, when we when we are facing all the hard things, it's not that God doesn't remember us. It's not that God doesn't think that we're suffering. I, I do I do a hundred percent believe that when we're suffering and we're going through really hard things, like God is crying. You know, God's heart is is in pain. Cause sino ba naman na father na when they're seeing their child like having a hard time or laughing. You know, I don't think that that's who God is. And so <laughs> God saying God remembered Noah is to say that um, God is somebody who stays faithful. Kahit na may marami na mag- ma- kahit na, you know, everything went, <laughs> you know, Sorry. and um it really shows up na that God is faithful even though it feels na it doesn't feel faithful. And, and, and it, kind of, it goes on, you know, we talked about, you know, the rest and we talked about the ways na you know, Noah sent the raven and the dove and, and then the dove finally came back with the olive leaf. And then when we go back down uh, a little bit more, ano yeah aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. and then more more yeah and so when ano so when we get to verse 
13, it says, in the 601st year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water that had covered the earth was dried up. That Noah removed the ark's cover and saw that the surface of the ground was drying. By the 27th mm -hmm. day of the second month, the earth was dry. So parang it's like, um, you know, when you're watching a movie and then there's so many hardships and then you finally get to the climax na parang and then parang yun yung, ano, yung last part ng sentence and the earth was dry. So, I don't know. Have you guys when have you guys ever, you know, we all talked about being in moments na, na hardships. So how would you describe the moments now when the earth was finally dry? Say Neil. Like, can you share an experience na parang you really saw God in the moments when the earth was finally dry? Mm. <clears throat> Ako siguro yung mga tao na pag nakita kong may sakit, tapos kumaling na lumabas sa hospital, parang tapos na yung baha sa pamilya nila. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, yes. as their pastor, you pr you're, you're praying for them and uh, binibisita mo sa hospital. Uh, so, madaming ganun, madaming sitwasyong ganun. 600. Oh. Yes. So, para sa akin, yun na yun. Eh. The earth was dry. No? Nung, 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 tapos na. Tapos na yung pain nila, tapos na yung paghihirap nila. Or even na uh, pumanaw yung tao, kahit hindi kumaling, pero pumanaw at alam naman nila, assured sila na nasa langit yung mahal nila sa buhay. Para sa akin, eh, ano na yun, kumbaga the earth was dry, parang gano'n. So tapos na yung baha para sa kanila. Kasi mahirap nakikita ang, ano, eh, ang, ang, ang mahal mo sa buhay na nagsasuffer sa ano mm -hmm. lalo na lalo na tong panahon ng covid di sila pwedeng dalawin di ba bawal pumunta sa ospital so yun yun na nakita uh, mm -hmm. parang tapos na kasi ang dami ko na nakita may sakit eh dahil ko na na witness na gumaling na yun naman ako na witness hindi gumaling so uh, yun ay eh, ano yun decision lahat ng choice pero yung sa ibang parte eh, nakita ko na, na natapos yung baha sa buhay <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Pastor, question. Mm -hmm. Yung ano siya sabi, yung siya sabi in the six hundred first year. Mm -hmm. Sabi sabi six hundred years ng in existence yung ano? Six hundred day. Ah uh, hindi po kasi tandaan yon ang edad ni Adam ay eh, nine hundred years. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung mga mm -hmm. anak niya alus sa libo rin yung mga ano di ba? sa so, pababa na pa. So hindi hindi siguro yan ano. Uh, uh, hindi ko alam kung anong uh, tinutukoy dito sa 600 600 first year. First year. So, year 601 parang ganun ba 'yun? Ah uh, hindi po, tingin ko hindi. Kasi ang yeah. ano, ang point of origin natin eh halimbawa ay eh, pagkagawa ng Dios, hindi siya 600. Hindi siya 6 601. Hindi siya year 601 kasi nga ah, hindi ano kasi nga sila lang, wala na sila Adam, 'di ba? Opo, edad pa lang ni Adam eh mabuti 900 sa, na. 900 mm -hmm. eh. 'Di diba? si, si si Methuselah pinakamatanda 969. So, tapos uh -huh. na dito. Hindi lang si Adam kasi na nagsalin lahi na siya. Mm -hmm. Oo, ano 'yun eh puro almost 1000 'yun, 600, 500, so ganoon. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think na ano to on the 600 No. Uh, hindi ko lang alam. May um, reference na A below that nandoon yung meaning ng 600. Tingnan natin. Tingnan natin. Click. Tara. No was life. Mhm. Mm no was life. Yeah. Ika, 600 ng buhay, ng buhay niya. Ng buhay niya, I see. Ang galing talaga ni Sister Len Len. <laughs> okay. Very good, very good. Kita niya yung ano. Yeah, ika, 600 ng buhay ni Noah. Mm -hmm. Pero thank you for ano for uh, seeing that. Ako, hindi ko napansin yun. Eh. So, 600 years old na si Noah dito. Mm -hmm. Gosh, he spent his 599th birthday. His 600th birthday on the boat. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> kasi sabi sa before, dumating yung baka 600 years na siya. Mm -hmm. So, counting from the days na 600 siya, 
do nag start yung 600 in the 600 first year in the first month so january yun bawang <laughs> december 31st yeah. Oh, baka sa ano natin, no? sa kalendaryo natin. Halimbawa uh-huh. lang, halimbawa. Baka parang January, parang gano'n. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have a very interesting way of of ano tag dito, of telling time. Because in Hebrew, it's not like that. It's a very like, uh, how do you explain it? It's, a, it's all numbers. They have no sense of month that months are not a thing that they have. They always go by days. Uh-huh. So that's how they they count up the days. Um, okay, let's read the last part. Um, uh-huh. Sino ba yung last nag-read? Si, ano? Brother James. Yes. Okay. Then God spoke to Noah. Ka- Come out of the ark, you, your wife, your sons, and your sons, sons' wives with you. Bring all the living creatures that are with you, birds, livestock, those that crawl on the earth, and they will spread over the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. Okay. Uh, so Noah, along with his sons, his wife, and his son's wives came out. All the animals, all the creatures that crawl, and all the flying creatures, everything that moves on the earth came out of the ark by their <clears throat> families. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord. He took some of every kind of clean animal and every kind of clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar when the lord smelled the pleasing aroma he said to himself i will never again curse the ground because of human beings even though the inclination of the human's heart is evil from youth onward and i will never again strike down every living thing as i have done as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter and day and night will not cease. Mm-hmm. The Lord's it's promise. promise. Yeah, promise. It's a promise. Yeah. It's, um, this is actually just a promise. This is in the next chapter for next week, you guys will talk about the covenant, which is different <laughs> um, in a sense. But the Lord's promise, uh, it's interesting because when it starts in verse 15, it says um, the first being that speaks, the first the first conversation that we hear in this chapter, it's not from Noah, it's from God. It's from God, yeah. And it talks and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a order to say, come out of the ark. Bring your, bring your family, bring out all the living creatures. And, and this is kind of like the moment where we come to, so even in our lives now, you know, we've been staying in the ark or we've been staying in the boat and we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for God. And then God finally says, come out. And I think that's such a, a powerful moment for Noah. And the fact that Noah stays faithful enough to hear the words of God to say, come out. I think is, um, I think that's hard to do as humans. <laughs> I think in all honesty, we, we tend to be people na, tagal naman ni God. Labas na muna ako. And then pagkalabas mo, ang dami nangyari na, na unexpected. Dahil you weren't ob- obeying to what God is, um, is giving you. Like you, you were trying to work in your own timeline. Uh-huh. And, and it's I know because when when God calls out to Noah, it says, "Bring out all the live creatures that are with you, and they will spread over the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth." Now that kind of like sentence of "be fruitful and multiply on the earth," we find that in the first chapters of Genesis when God commands Adam and Eve to multiply and be fruitful on the earth. It's kind of like this notion of like God's renewing that second promise. Nah, I am a God of 
fruitfulness and multiplication and abundance. And you, um, people who are left and the animals who are left are the means to this abundance of life. So kind of like a reminder to us that we are called to, to be, uh, no, um, <clears throat> we are called to be people that transmit that kind of abundance to other people. Um, and it, so it continues on in the end. Uh, if you could bring it up, thank you. And then we see that when Noah comes out of the ark, what was Noah's first response? To build an altar. Noah built an altar. Give, give thanksgiving. Yep, that's correct. So the way in which Noah responds is in praise. Mm -hmm. And I think oftentimes in our lives, when we come out of hardships, ano pong response natin? What is our first response sometimes in your experiences? Nagmamakto. Hmm. Complain. Complain? Ano po ba? There's some hmm. bitterness. Ano po? Parang worry. Worry. Mm -hmm. Disappointment. Disappointment. Uh -huh. yeah, parang galit ka, ganun. Galit ka. <laughs> Hmm? To find things to and uh, na and malibang ka. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Yeah. So we we find ourselves now when we come out of you know that that boat, our first responses are bitterness, the control, nagahanap ng other reasons na to blame, and mm -hmm. I I think sadly that's kind of our our pattern of humans. That's the, the pattern we've come to na when of complaining na, or you know, it starts with Cain and Abel na like, wow, I'm not my brother's keeper. Bakit ako nag-aalaga sa kanya nung pinatay niya yung kapatid niya? Or like when, you know, even in later on, it's like um, when Joseph's brothers decide to um, stop him and he lies to deceive their father. And there's so many times when we come out of like hardship that our first response is bitterness. And, and yet we see it in this portion that no first response is praise. And I think that's something that we all need to learn. Mm -hmm. um, that for me is very challenging is to say, thank you God for that hardship. I feel like that's a hard thing to say. Um, and sometimes when you when we talk about na, oh, let's thank God for our hardship, it becomes difficult to do that. Because it's parang like, I don't know, it, it feels na siguro na we're not state na, na parang we're minimizing the, the hardship or pain. But God never minimized the flood. Sa binasa po nyo, did God ever minimize the chaos, the flood that God <laughs> kind of like let happen, that God produced? Like, God never minimizes the pain and the suffering and the hardship. And yet, when God does allow provision mm -hmm. for us to find the rest and to find mm -hmm. the peace and to be able to get out, mm -hmm. Ang tanong ko ano? Ang tanong ko uh, ano bakit naging pleasing aroma kay Lord? Mm. Yung uh, yeah. yung yung uh, inoffer ni ni Noah. Ano yeah. siya talaga niya? Kasi he, he took the best uh, mm. kind of animal and bird as burnt offerings. Mm -hmm. So, kumbaga, hindi, hindi, hindi niya tinipid si Lord, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, gave, he gave the best offering. Oh, oh. So, so, pag binigay mo yung best kay Lord, natutuwa siya. So, yeah. ano, yung mag, ano yung magpapaano sa'yo? Ano yung magpapa... Uh, mag, 
Paano ka darating sa punto na magdi-decide na bibigay mo yung best? When you are feeling blessed. Okay. Yeah, blessed ka kasi boy ka pa eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, ano yung karakteristik na natutuwa talaga si Lord? Kasi I don't think yung, yung smell talaga yung... <laughs> hindi yung sunog na amoy, no? Kumbaga, eh, this is somehow na... Uh, kumbaga, uh, yes, merong nasusunog. Kumbaga, pero uh, this more of a picture na natutuwa kasi yung Diyos. Saan, sa, saan natutuwa yung Diyos kay Noah? Tsaka doon sa pamilya niya. Ano bang ginawa nila? Oh. They were faithful. Yes, no. They trusted God. They trusted, yeah. Ay, yeah, meron sila. They, o- they obey, but they obey po. Yeah, matindi yung faith nila. Tsaka yung obedience. Yung obedience yung nila. Since day one, day one na mukha silang ewan, nagkamakawa sila ng barko. Hanggang sa obedience na magstay sila sa loob ng barko, hindi sila tumalon. Hanggang sa lumabas sila ng nang ano nag-uubay pa rin sila hanggang sa paglabas sila mismo ng barko ng arko uh, una nilang ginawa is to worship God kasi they built the mm-hmm. altar so doon natuwa si Lord sa kanila kaya sabi niya I will never again curse the ground because of human beings kasi mayroong mga tao na mabubuti ang puso may natitira pa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sabi niya even though the inclination of the human heart is evil from youth yes. onward. Oh, so, and I will never again strike down every living, every living thing as, as, I, have as I have done. Sa totoo yeah. lang, nadamay lang naman sa atin yung mga living things na yan eh. <laughs> diba? <laughs> totoo si nadamay lang sa tao yan eh. Kung ano naman sinang kinalaman dyan eh. Diba? So, Ayun, natuwa yung Diyos, no? kaya naging pleasing aroma sa Kanya. So ikaw din, kung ikaw obedient, you trust God, faithful ka, di ba? matutuwa ang Diyos sa'yo. So whatever you 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 give back to God as your offering, pwede yung pera yan, pwede yung tithes mo, pwede yung offering mo, pwede yung time, pwede yung servisyo mo na nag, uh, nagbibigay ka ng... Uh, nang uh, tawag nito nagbibigay ka nagsasando ka ng kanin pagka kumakain sa linggo or nagkakamay ka ng mga tao or nag uh, nagpapaupo ka nag alam niyo nag ka o ano pa man ang ginagawa mo na para sa Lord lahat yan pleasing aroma sa kanya kasi ang tinitingnan niya yung heart mo hindi naman yung kakayahan mong gawin ng isang bagay kasi I'm sure hindi naman perfect yung art hindi siya ganoon kaganda El amateur lang si Noah eh. No, hindi yung kamukha ng Titanic o Super Fairy. Pero yung natutuwa si Lord, yung 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 heart talaga na nag-obey sa kanya, di ba? So, willingness po. Yeah, yung willingness ta. Kung pagka-pastor yung boat niya survive mo. Ah, oh. <laughs> Mag survive lang. Yeah. Pwede na. <laughs> Yeah. Tsaka, yun nga, ano, nabanggit ni Sister Ned na hindi, hindi, hindi pa ito yung covenant. Diba? Yung covenant, yung rainbow yun. Eh. Sa kabila yun, sa susunod na chapter, next next Friday, si Pastor Bert ang magtuturo. Pero, ito ay tungkol pa dun sa pinangako niya. Diba? Pag, uh, sabi niya, as long as the earth endures, si and harvest, no, sa Tagalog, habang nagtatanim at pag-aani, cold and heat sa oras ng panahon ng taglamig at taginit. No? Summer and winter, day and night will not cease. Uh, so, kumbaga, yun yung pangako niya. Kaya kita niyo naman, every morning, uh, nag-renew yung kanyang faithfulness. Di ba? There yeah, are new every morning. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. uh, so, hindi, ang maganda sa Diyos natin, hindi bengador eh. Unlike natin mga tao, bengador, di ba? Kung may ginawang mali sa'yo, tandaan mo yan, weather-weather lang. Dating na pa nun, yari ka sa akin. Ganun tayo eh, di ba? May araw ka rin. May araw, may araw. Ka rin. Ikot ang gulong ng buhay, di ba? Ganun. Bilog ang mundo. Bilog ang mundo. Mga tinuro sa atin ng mga pelikula noong ano, napanood natin ng mga bata tayo. Ano ba? So, ang tendency, bengador tayo. We, we, ano, we love vengeance. Diba? 
Mm-hmm. Ang Diyos hindi eh. Ang gusto niya magbago ang tao. Maging katulad niya. Di ba maganda yung kanta eh. Yung ano eh. Make my heart like yours. Di ba? Sabi ng kantang yun. Pag uh, gawin mo yung puso ko na kagaya ng puso mo. Yun ang gusto ng Diyos. Hindi yung... Wala naman siyang mapapala talaga in a sense na mag, maging bengador ang Diyos eh. Di ba? Kasi ang gusto niya, lahat, mahalin niya. Ma- makabig niya papunta sa kanya. Unless na lang magpumiglas yung tao, ayaw talaga. Eh, gagalangin ng Diyos ang decision ng tao. In fact, kung si Noah nag-decide na ayaw niya. Di ba? Maaring... Uh, Pwede naman na hindi mangyari yun, di ba? At maaaring ibang tao ang mag-oo. Nakuha natin. I think, Pastor, hindi, hindi niya sinubukan niya na si Noah for 500 years. Eh. Mm-hmm. Bago niya ginawa yun. Yeah. Hindi so, si Noah. Kung pinag-uusapan natin yung maturity, uh, di ba? Uh, kasi ano? ilang beses <laughs> ang tao hindi nagkakaroon ng... Hindi nagtatanda eh. Mm-hmm. Pero pag continuous na nahihirapan or continuous na bumabalik yung situation, natatandaan nila yun. So yeah. for 500 years, I'm sure marami siyang tested na ano. Natututo tayo sa... Marami siyang nadaanan, dinaanan. Oh, dinaanan. Sabi mm-hmm. nga, natututo daw tayo sa ating mga pagkakamali. Yes. We grow. Oh. Yeah. Yung hindi nag-grow na mamatay. Oh. Kaya nga, kaya nga na, na, nababansot, kumbaga. Oh, di ba, limbawa, linggo-linggo dumadaan ka ng I-5. Tapos linggo-linggo, sarado yung I-5. Kung ka pa rin ng daan, mag-grow ka ba nun? Kung ba yung kumahanap ka ng ibang daan, mag-side streets ka na, di ba? Yes. <laughs> di ba, expecting different result every Sunday, eh, alam mo naman na sarado. Di ba, dapat tumahanap ka ng ibang daan. Pero kung balik ka pa rin ng balik doon, wala ka mapupuntahan, hindi ka mag-grow. Doon ka lang sa I-5. <laughs> yes. May stop. Hindi ka matututo. Hindi ka matututo. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So may mga tanong pa ba kayo? Questions, suggestions, uh, comments, or karagdagang kaalaman na hindi natin na, natalakay? O meron kayong uh, tiyatawag na take away? Sige. The floor is yours. Sino pong gusto magsimula ng kanyang take away? Pastors, just like ano, sa akin, ah, parang what do you do while you were in between the time? Ano? In between the time is simula at saka yung ending. For example, pupunta ka sa doktor. Mm-hmm. Maghihintay ka. Maghihintay ka kasi di ba merong mag magpapa-register ka muna. Mm. Tapos, it, it takes mga 10 to 15 minutes or sometimes, kung madami pasyente, it takes hour bago ka ma-check up. Yung kay Noah, yung na-experience na, even as na na-COVID times, yun yung in between the time. Yung mm. naghihintay ka para ma-check up ka ng doktor, ano ang gagawin mo? Ano ang ginagawa mo? Oh. Ano yung gagawin sa sarili mo? para ma-overcome mo yung time na yun. Kasi mah- ma- mahirap maghintay. Yeah. That's a beautiful time to commune yeah. with God. Mm-mm. Diba? Right. Yung gina- iba, gina- yung mga kabataan, may cellphone eh, di maglaro ka. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yung mga matatanda, magbasa ka. Yung trabaho, iniisip yung trabaho. No. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, yung iba naman, nag-iisip kung ano yung sa meeting nila. Mm-hmm. Or iba, ano ba yung sakit ko? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Diba? Nag-aalala. So, yun yung, quality, yun yung quality time na tinatawag na yun yung time na you can say quality, are you going to use it or waste it? Mm-hmm. Manalangin, diba? diba? Kasi right. ano bang uh, yeah. na- Manalangin ka, <clears throat> pero kung masyadong mahaba yung oras, what's the other way? O, pero pag nanalangin tayo, dapat gamitin natin yung effective way of praying. No? Yeah. Kasi, alam ba, ibig sabihin, ba rosary? Ang ibig sabihin nun ay may dalawang bata na tumatakbo. No? Sabi kasi nung isang bata, <coughs> Ali ka na, umuwi na tayo, tumakbo na tayo. Sabi niya ganun, umuulan na. 
Tapos oh. yung isang bata, tumakbo, sabay sila. Pero yung isang bata, may daladalang balde. Hindi pa umuulan, ha? pero may dala na siyang balde. So, ibig sabihin, mas... <clears throat> may plano na siyang sumalok ng tubig. <laughs> so, ganun tayo dapat manalangin. No? May dala na tayong balde. Kasi pag gineclare na natin na uulan na, sasagutin ng Diyos yung panalangin natin. Ayan na, uulan na. Diba? Ready. Yung faith, eh, naniwala ka <clears throat> ulan. Diba? Kahit wala pang ulan. Pero mas malupit na faith, may dala ka ng balde. Nakuha natin. Baga, oh alam na alam mo, sigurado ka. Na, May foresight ka na. Oo, oh, alam mo talaga na ano, padating talaga. Parang si Insino, uh-huh. alam niya na mag-reside ang flood. Sa uh-huh. puto niya, alam niya. Hindi siya papabayaan. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, ganun din tayo. Sa panahon ng paghihintay, sa sinasabi ni Sister Lenlen, habang naghihintay tayo, dapat meron tayo sa puso natin ng pag-asa mula sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Diba? Na may dala tayong balde Lord, sinabi mo, uulan Uulan ba talaga? Bakit ganun? Ang tirik na tirik ang araw <laughs> Parang hindi uulan diba? So ganun, ganun ang, ano. diba? 12 years ago I remember no, uh, Nag-meeting kagami, kagami, kagami kagabi sa board And then I remember 12 years ago uh, Ang sabi namin noon sa board We need to Uh, umalis sa MCB at maging independent church. Under na tayo ng district. Parang ganun. Hindi na tayo under ng MCB. So, renter na lang tayo. It was a bold move. No? Kumbaga, kasi for the longest time, since 1984, member tayo ng MCB. So, ngayon, 2020, nag-decide tayo na alis tayo ng MCB and we will do it on our own. We have a foresight na things will get better. Imagine having a foresight during a pandemic. Right? And then I asked them, you evaluate what happened after 12 months. And then they said, we did it. The Lord did it. It happened. Everything that we, 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 we saw 12, 12 months ago, it happened. So, ibig sabihin, naniwala kasi yung tao no, sa, sa Diyos na hindi ikaw ang gagawa, Diyos ang gagawa. Kaya-kaya niya, masa maniwala ka. Diba? Kaya nga sabi ko sa kanila, oh, let's market today again. Let's see it another six months to 12 months. Oh, the Lord will do more things. Diba? Mm-hmm. I remember nung, nung unang-unang day ko sa, sa La Filnas, I took a picture, tinago ko yun eh. Talagang few people. Now, if I will take a picture now, consistent na tayo ng 50, di ba? So, and we will we will grow more. It's not because of us. It's because of the promise kagaya ng binigay ni Noah sa ni eh, ng Panginoon kay Noah. Di ba? The Lord will fulfill his promise. Kasi ikaw naman, we can always break our promise tao tayo, di ba? Pero if we will obey, we will see the result. Magugulat tayo, di ba? Imagine niyo Since November, hindi na tayo nag-close. In person na tayo. Ngayon pa lang nagbubukas yung mga ibang simbahan. Di ba? May namatay ba sa COVID sa atin? Wala naman. May nagka-COVID ba? Wala naman. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, protection ng tayo ng Diyos. Di ba? So, ang, uh, ang sister dito, eh, we need to obey. We need to listen. We need to uh, keep on moving forward even though parang uncertain yung kinabukasan. Kailangan dala-dala natin yung timba natin palagi kahit na sa mainit tirikang araw kahit ang init-init ngayon, di ba? Basta alam mo magpapaulan ng Diyos, salukin mo lahat, di ba? Saluhin mo lahat. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, about the others. Any uh, take away, any anything you want to say? Ikaw James, eh, ikaw ay eh, masaya ang iyong Father's Day ngayon. Ayo po. <laughs> dumating na ba? May generate ako ngayon eh. Sorry, pasensya na. <laughs> dumating na ba anak mo? Next, next mga next week pa. Next Pero yung pangalan ko na interview na. Okay na interview na yung pangalan. Sabay ba silang hmm. makakarating? Uh, kung, kung, kasi kaka, kung ano, plano kasi nila sabay na. Pero kung hindi, baka siguro after one week or two weeks pa yung, yung pangalan. Oo. Oh, pero kung di naman ano, 
Siguro di mo na papunta mo na isa. <laughs> yeah, sa 24 naka-schedule. Rasul, bol. Oh, kasi pag naghintayin pa sila, di ba? Ayaw natin ng problema. Pero happy ka, James, ha? Kasi... Opo. Oh, Grabe. Oh. Lalo na nyo nalaman ko na na-approve kahapon yung panganay ko. Kasi yun ang problema ko. Eh, pag magka-problema pa, hindi ko na siya maano talaga. Problema ko. Approve yung panganay mo. Ha? Huh? Approve na. So sure ball na. Approve na. na. Oh, sure ball na. Oh, oh, thank you. Praise yeah. the Lord, ha? Tapos na. Try it and na para kay James. <laughs> Wala nang baha. Di ba? Wala na. Wala na po. Diba, Tagal din na yun ah. Tagal din. Oo. Oh. Ilang taon ka nag, nag-antay, Brother James? Ako? Taon? Oo. Oh. Tagal din yun sa akin pa lang. Tagal din yun. Hindi yung pag-antay ano, mo sa, sa mga anak mo. Sampun taon ko sila hindi nakita. Oo. Oh. Sampun taon. Sampun taon ko sila hindi nakita. Oh my goodness. Sampun. Ng personal ah. Yan. Sa, sa ano ko lang. Sa mga ano ko lang sila ano. Sa... Oh, yan daman na yung bulsa mo. <laughs> 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 Nabili na nga ako ng kaunting gamit. Shopping, Ay, shopping. Gamit. Shopping yan, pagdating. Oh, oh. Ano ka, nung pagdating namin, eh, kala mo, dampot kami ng dampot, yung pala, mamahali. <laughs> Kasi hindi naman namin alam na. <laughs> Bago lang sa Amerika. Eh. Pero masaya, masaya rin. Masaya, masaya pa rin. Yeah, so, yan, happy si James. Happy kami para sa'yo, James. Salamat. Sinagot siya mga prayer natin, di ba? Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, Pastor Tim, tanggalin mo na si si Bishop James doon sa ating uh, prayer. <laughs> Dahil uh, nasagot na. <laughs> okay, yes. Ano na lang, safety na lang, Pastor. Safety. Safety travel safety na lang. Ano? Yeah, yes. oh, tsaka pambili ni James ang pang... Ano? <laughs> <laughs> ano sa mga bata. <laughs> yeah. Are Yan, happy happy. So who else? Sino may gusto pang ano? Uh, ah, meron lang, meron po ako. Ano po yung nakita ko po dito yung value of waiting. Mm-hmm. The value of waiting nung nasa ark na sila sila Noah and the family. Mm-hmm. Nakita ko po na yung yung tinut yung nat, natuto silang magwait. Yeah. Tinuturuan tayo ng Panginoon to wait. So even even when it means to makes us na ano parang anxious, parang stress out, annoyed yung mga ganun. Pero ano siya pa rin ang nagbibigay ng hope sa atin. Mm-hmm. So nakita ko dito yung value of waiting kahit sa ating mga bilang mga Kristiyano. Mm-hmm. Pag nagpo-pray tayo, we, we also we, meron po siyang mga ano doon, it's either yes, mm-hmm. it's either no or you you have to wait. Yeah. Pinakamahirap pa naman maghintay. Yes. So nakita ko dito yung va- yung yung ginawa ng Panginoon kina Noah. Mm-hmm. Yung value of waiting. Yes. Okay. And nandun yung trust nila, yung 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 obedient, yung ganun. Nakita ko nakita ko siya doon. Mm-hmm. Yun po yung nakikita ko ganun din yung uh, yung sa atin. So we should also ano para pong value nating lahat yung mga nangyayari sa atin it's not just na parang uh, na parang yung palaging ano yung pong palagi tayo nang hihina kasi talagang dumarating po yung sa atin bilang isang Kristiyano habang habang nagwo-wait tayo the lord is teaching us something parang tinuturuan niya tayong to be patient mm-hmm. wait wait patiently parang ganon. that you have to yung humble in humble niya tayo And, and tapos doon, yung parang he is really making us mature in Christianity when you wait. Ganon din po ang nangyari kay, kay, kay Noah and the entire family. So yan, nakita ko. So ang gandang ano yan sa ating sarili. That we can see how God did to Noah. Yung, yung faithfulness ng Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Ayan, natuto tayo kay Noah. Yes. At sa family niya. Actually, sa family niya. Actually, din yung family niya. Nasunod eh. Yeah. Imagine nyo kung nag-away-away sila dun sa loob. Yeah. Para pong ang nakikita ko, napakatahimik ng mga anak. They didn't even say any word. ba? Diba? Kung makikita nyo po dun, wala silang salita. Sino hmm. walang talaga nyo. Parang sumunod lang sila. Ginagalang din nila yung tatay. Ginalang nila. Oh. Ginalang. Nakita mo rin dun yung how they honor their father. How they 
uh, respect their father. Hindi sila kumibo, hindi sila wala silang reklamo. So hmm. they just wait and they just follow. Teka, kahit yung asawa din ni Noah. Opo, kahit yung asawa, yun nga, the entire uh-huh. family and even the livestock, kahit na po yun, tahimik din sila. They didn't, uh, hindi sila lumipad, hindi sila lumabas doon. They did not, wala silang ginawang anumang. If yeah. you will see, yung pong, pong, kung, kung parang may imagine mo lang, yung parang ganun. Yeah, yung mag-asawang leon eh. <laughs> Puro prutas mo na ang kinain. Hindi mo na, <laughs> di mo na kumain ng tupa kasi mawawala yung lahi pag kumain sa Yeah. Na, nasakman na siguro ng leon yung ano, yung bawa, yung pakasun na. <laughs> okay, nag-away-away na siya. Luwa mo luwa mo. Mo, 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 wala, <laughs> mo, wala ng dahi yung kambing, iluwa mo. <laughs> yes. And so, how about the others natin pa? Ako po yung ano, um, after ng, ng storm, ng flood, mm-hmm. yung may ano may mga nagbo-bloom, may buhay kumbaga. Mm, yeah. So parang sa sa atin yung mga problema natin pag natapos kumbaga parang may something good will come out of it. Mm. Parang ganun. So ayun, parang ganun. Yeah, yeah. Hindi yeah. ko ma-explain masyado pero parang ganun. <laughs> I know. Uh, ang pag-sprout uh, ng olive na yun eh. Yeah. Uh, At saka siguro, yung ano, yung nag-bloom yung mga flowers siguro, mm-hmm. may mga namungang mga puno ulit, parang ganun. So, kumbaga parang pagkatapos ng storm, hindi pa katapusan ng ano, hmm. ng buhay. Parang ganun. Parang itong parang... pandemic, di ba? Nakita niyo yung nangyari sa China. Nakita nila yung ano, yung itsura nung... Uh, ng uh, Beijing, ng uh, Wuhan, ng ano yung yung kasi yung before pandemic maitim, mausok. Yeah. Oo, ngayon wala kasi nga di ba nag-lockdown. So yun yung ano yung parang napahi- nakahingay si Mother Earth, nakahinga ng konti kasi wala mga byahe ng eroplano, wala bi- yung mga pabrika halos padami nagsarado, di ba? So kumbaga nakahinga ng konti si Mother Earth para ganun. San taon din yun, di ba? So, may magandang effect din. Nag- nagbali ka na yung mga... Katulad sa harapan ng bahay namin, no? may nangitlog na uh, hummingbird. No? Dalawa, yung, dalawa o tatlo yung kanyang itlog na pisa. Tapos uh, makaraan ng dalawang linggo. Pag tingin namin kanina, wala na. Lumipad na. So, kumbaga, eh, kung uh, sa, kung, sa Pilipinas yun, malamang napaglaroan na ng mga bata yun. <laughs> Yeah, kasi pag di ba pag binakita tayo, oh, kunin mo yan o oh, ibon, di ba? Harang ganun, mga mm-hmm. bata. Diba? Kita, Elby, may sabihin ka? Um, eh, yung pong sinabi ni Pastor Tin, parang yung sinabi niya kanina na after the storm. Yung nakikita ko po doon, after the, the storm, meron pong pag-asa, meron hope. Mm-hmm. You will see sunlight, parang makikita mo na yung liwanag. Mm-hmm. O, oh, may liwanag na. Parang, uh, parang nakahinga ka ng maluwag kasi because mm-hmm. the storm, wala na yung storm, wala nang baha, wala na dyan. Meron ng liwanag. That mm-hmm. you know that there is God na nandyan ng Panginoon. Kasi, sin- sino ba naman ang makakagawa ng liwanag? Sin- sino makakagawa ng, di ba? Siya lang. So, siya lang, sa kanya lang nanggagaling yung light. Mm-hmm. Yes. So parang nakita ko doon, there is hope in everything. Kahit na ano pang mangyari sa atin, kahit na, na even we, we, we have so many circumstances or mga mountains to climb, but there is still hope. that At the end of the tunnel, sabi nga, there is light. Yes. Oh. Di ba? Parang ganun. Yes. Yeah. Yun po yung nakakita ko talaga mm-hmm. for it. No? Kaya Tita Amy, meron kayong okay. testings or anything? Ako po meron. Mm-hmm. Um, napapansin ko dito po sa Amerika, parang uh, dapat abundant life dito ano mm-hmm. dapat ang mga tao masasaya lahat mm-hmm. na pero bakit marami kang nakikita ng mga homeless, homeless. Mm-hmm. mga nag uh, nagresort sa violence may mga Asian haters diyan mm-hmm. may mga gun ano yung mga namamaril mm-hmm. ang hirap talaga ang hirap isipin na dahil walang Diyos, wala silang hindi nila kilala ang Diyos. 
Mm-hmm. So, nagiging miserable ang buhay nila. Mm-hmm. So, kahit nasa magandang country ka pa, kung wala ang Diyos sa buhay mo, mm-hmm. wala rin, pariwara rin ang buhay mo eh. Mm-hmm. So, importante talaga na <clears throat> maging ano tayo, maging obedient tayo sa Panginoon, hindi tayo maalis sa kanyang sa pagsamba sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Yun, ang, yun ang napansin ko, Pastor. Yun ang... Yeah, parang yung, yung sitwasyon ni Noah na mm-hmm. nung una, hindi naman maganda yung sitwasyon niya. Di ba? Tapos mm-hmm. pangalawa, nung lumabas siya, ang ganda ng sitwasyon niya dahil kanya yung ano eh, kanya yung buong paradise eh. Oo, <laughs> sila na. Di ba? Sila na yung magsisimula. Di ba? Walang problema yun. Di ba? So, parang ganun din na tayo sabi niyo nga kahit na nasa maganda kang lugar pero kung wala naman Diyos. Kasi si Noah, kay maganda yung sitwasyon niya o pangit yung sitwasyon niya, may Diyos sila eh. So tama yung sinasabi niyo na kahit na nasa pinakamaunlad kang bansa nakatira, kung uh, wala ka naman Diyos, di mo siya ginagalang, di mo siya ginirespeto, di mo siya minamahal, wala kang relasyon. So you will also live a miserable life. Di ba? Miserable, oo. Uh-huh. Oo, oo. Pero kung kahit na sa probinsya ka, sa Pilipinas, mm. at nagsasaka ka doon o nangingisda, pero may Diyos ka, eh masaya ka. Nahi masaya ka. Na. ka. Yeah, wala kang mas-mas doon sa probinsya dahil uh, uh, social distancing doon. Kapitbahay mo, isang kilometro lang. Ang yeah. So, kumbaga, ang, 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 para sa akin, tama kayo. Ang kasiyahan, base kung meron kang tiyos sa puso o wala. Eh. Yes. Hindi, hindi, mm-hmm. kung, hindi kung nasaan ka. Mm-hmm. Diba? Para si Tita Elvi na sa Beverly Hills ngayon. Diba, Tita Elvi, lahat ng bahay dyan ang lalaki, diba? Pero pag nag, nag, dumaan ka dyan, nag-drive ka dyan, tahimik dyan, walang dumalabas sa tao. Parang mga walang laman yung bahay. Patrabaho kasi. So, pa, kasi ano eh, kumbaga, ano, uh, siguro yung miari ng bahay, maari busy na nagtatrabaho sa ibang lugar o sa opisina o ano. Diba? So, maaring maraming pera ang ibang tao, pero kung wala naman Diyos, hindi nila may enjoy. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero kung ikaw, simple tao ka lang, may konti kang pera, konti kang panggasos, pero masaya ka. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ang Diyos mo, ang, ano eh, ang magbibigay sa'yo ng saya, hindi yung, ano eh, yung kakayahan. Pera. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hindi material things. Yeah, I'm sure si Tita LB mas gustong maglakad sa, sa 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 isang kalsada sa Angeles City sa Pampanga kaysa sa sa Beverly Hills, di ba? Di ba Tita LB kasi sa Pampanga basaya eh madaming tao, may barbecuean, nakangiti yung mga tao, natatawa na, di ba? Marami kang nakikita. <laughs> Maday kang kilala. At pag, pagkalabas mo lang sa bahay, kilala mo na. Yeah, 'yan ang una kong ano, eh, nanibago ko eh. Paglabas mo sa Pilipinas, ang daming tao naguhuntahan do sa kanto, nagkukwentuhan, kumakain ng fishbowl, barbecue. Dito, una kong dating, noong 2009, paglabas ko ng bahay, walang tao. Mm-hmm. Walang tao. <laughs> sa trabaho lahat. <laughs> so, <laughs> depende nga sa'yo kung nasa, nasa, nasa ano yung Diyos mo, nasa puso mo ba? O, di ba? Tama, tama ka doon, Tita Amy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kau tita Lenlen, any anything that you want to share before we pray? Um, as um, sa sa akin sa mundo ng ito, nothing is permanent except change. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka pwede ng magstay sa isang lugar kailangan kumilos ka. Mm-hmm. So there is always change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So only God is the one that is permanent. Mm-hmm. So kaya kumbaga, kung umiikot ang mundo, kaila ako. Nakakakonek ka kay God. Otherwise, mawawala ka talaga. Mm-hmm. Kasi si, si God lang ang stable eh. Mm-hmm. Agaya ng mga changes na nadanasan ni Noah. Hindi, uh-huh. ka naman, hindi ka naman expert gumawa ng barko. Ang laking changes sa ino. Paggawin ka kaya ng barko. Di ba? Amateur na amateur. Hindi ka naman karpintero. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung changes na sanay ka sa lupa. Kasi magsasakayan eh. I-share ko sila, di ba? Oo, tapos ngayon, eh, nasa loob ka ng barko for how many months, di ba? O, tapos, uh, changes na naman paglabas mo ng barko. Di ba? Wala na yung mga kapitbahay mo, mga kamag-anak mo, mga, wala, patay lahat eh. Ang daming changes. Adjust na adjust. Adjust na adjust. 
Nandiyan yung Diyos niya. Mas, Nalalayan siya. Oh, di ba sa buhay natin? Oh, maski natin, tayo. Mas, mas, mas naman tayo lahat dito. Change ng change ng change. Every day, nag-change. Hmm. Ang dami natin adjustments kaya dito. Pagdating pa lang, maririn nyo ba natin yung visa natin? Ma, ang dami. Ang uh, dami. Yung lilipat ka ng bahay, di ba? Lilipat ka ng uh, trabaho, di ba? Mga ganun. Daming adjustments. Tapos pagka-time naman na-realize mo, matanda ka na, mag-adjust ka ulit. Yes, adjust ka ulit. Yung time naman na yun, mabaguhin mo para sa edad mo. Yeah, kung saan ka saan. And by the time you look at the back, iba na yung mga generation, adjust ka na naman. Yep. Ayan. Kahit sa simbahan eh, ang tao, people, come and go. Pansin mm-hmm. niyo, di ba? Uh, may mga tao na dati pumupunta wala na mas may bago na naman darating di ba? ganun ang buhay eh. di ba? so everything is ano, sabi nga the only thing that is constant is change lagi na babago so yun na lang our God never change no? so parehas pa rin siya Amen sige manalangin na tayo at uh, at uh, maraming salamat Uh, ano sa yung pagfacilitate ngayong gabi sa so next week chapter 9 si Pastor Bert naman. Ito LV kayo na po ang mag ano, magsarado closing prayer. Thank you Lord. Father, we just want to thank you Lord God for all the things that you have done to us Lord. Sa lahat po ng bagay na aming natutuhan ngayon oh Dios. Mm-hmm. Salamat po oh Dios na patuloy niyo kaming binabago at patuloy niyo pong chine-change yung aming puso, Panginoon, na lalo pa po kaming maging matapat, maging tapat sa inyo, o Diyos, sa araw-araw. Mm-hmm. Hindi lamang po sa mga bagay na gusto namin, Panginoon, kundi sa mga bagay na gusto ninyo, o Diyos. Mm-hmm. Kaya po sa, sa gabing ito, Panginoon, patuloy po namin i- ino-offer ang aming mga sarili sa inyo, aming mga puso, lalo na, o Diyos, na ito'y patuloy niyong baguhin, Panginoon. Mm-hmm. upang lalo pa po kami maglingkod at magpatuloy sa sa kalooban niyo sa amin o Diyos. Mm-hmm. And Lord, we as we as we rest tonight, oh Lord God. Instill to us, Lord God, na na lalo pa po kaming manatili sa inyo at just nang the more that the more that we will serve you, Lord God, and we will love you and to know you and seek you more, Lord God. Mm-hmm. Sa araw-araw po, oh Diyos. Kaya po, dalangin ko po sa bawat isa, Panginoon, na manatili po kami, Panginoon. Maging faithful po kami, Panginoon. Hindi lamang po sa sa panahon na kami masaya, sa panahon na kami maraming mga bagay na nakukuha o mga gusto namin na na aming tinatangkilik sa panahon na ito, O Diyos. Kundi pati sa panahon na kami wala, O Diyos. Pati sa panahon na kami may mga problema, O Panginoon. That we will desire more of you, Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Sa araw-araw, oh Lord. Mm-hmm. Kaya po sa oras na ito, Panginoon, uh, kayo, po, kayo rin pa rin po ang siyang aming pupurihin at pasasalamatan sa lahat ng oras na aming, mga ginagawa, na aming ginagawa, oh Diyos. That you will be with us every day, Lord God. Mm-hmm. That we will seek you more and we will desire more of you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Kaya po sa... I-bless niyo po ang bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat po sa aming tagapagturo ngayon, Lord God. May you bless her, Lord. May you encourage her. May your protection be upon the, her also, Lord God, and even the whole family, Lord God. And we were blessed, Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon. Patuloy niyo nga po kaming bigyan ng joy sa aming mga puso as we serve you, kahit po sa mga malilit lang na bagay, O Diyos. Yes, Lord. Kami po ay uh, nagpapakumbaba sa inyo. Use us, Lord, mightily in your ministry sa aming community, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa aming leader, si Pastor Jeff, Lord. And we are blessed to have him, Lord, and the whole family, Lord God. At sa bawat isa na naririto, Panginoon, may you bless each one of us, Lord God, as we rest tonight. Kayo pa rin po ang aming pipiliin na... na sasambahin, O Diyos. At... Uh, i- Uh, that we will always serve you, Lord God. Salamat po sa gabing ito at pangunahan niyo nga po kami at pingatan ang bawat isa sa aming pagtulong, sa aming paghinlay, Panginoon. Salamat po sa 
sa bawat isa. And may you bless each one of us, Lord God. Protect us. Divine protection and divine provision be to all of us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, picture, picture, Erza. Picture time. <laughs> James, pakita ka. <laughs> Ay, sunday na po. <laughs> Paano ba ito? Paano ko pa siya? Ayan, pindutin mo lang yung stop video. Para may nakaslash na pula. Ay. Ayun pa. Ayan. Okay. One, two, three, smile. There you go. <laughs> Nakaporma na naman si Erza. Hindi ko nakita si Erza. Asan si Erza? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko nakita si Erza. Tulog na yata. Nakaposting. Nakaposting. Oh, Father's Day ha. Sa Sunday. Oh. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you everyone.